this is another example of uh, Markov chains and in this one we would be finding long-term trend or long-term predictions. So let's uh, try to understand this problem first. At a liberal arts college, students are classified as humanities or science majors. Uh, there is a probability of 0.9 that a uh, humanities major will change to science and point two that science major will change to humanities. So what are the long term predictions for each major? And round numbers to the nearest thousands. So first of all, we will try to write a transition matrix A. So let's say for humanities represented by H and for science represented by S. So matrix A, transition matrix A would be the humanities science, so humanities science, and humanities to science major, the change is 0 0.9, or transition, so 0 0.9, and then science to humanity is 0 0.2, so so the remaining uh, positions we can fill. So here would be point, uh, 0 0.1 because the sum of row must be 1 and here would be 0 0.8. So this is your transition matrix A. And long term trend which is also known as equilibrium vector. So let's say, let's say let B is equal to V1, V2. And then because this is a probability vector, so we would know that this uh, V1 plus V2 equal to 1. So that's one equation we would use later. And because uh, long-term trend, which is also called as equilibrium vector, so it means that we have to solve this equilibrium equation that V A is equal to V. So V is V1, V2. And our A is uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.9, 0 0.2, 0 0.8. So that should be equal to 1, V2. So now the product on the left side, so that would give me like 0 0.1, V1 plus 0 0.2, V2. And 0 0.9, V1 plus 0.8, V2. And on the right side, we have same V1, V2. In order for both sides to be equal, so this first component should be equal to this first component. So 0 0.1 V1 plus 0 0.2 V2, so that should be equal to V1. And similarly, the second component should be the second component. So 0 0.9 V1 plus 0.8 V2 is equal to V2. So from here, uh, if we simplify both these equations, so subtract 0 0.1 V1, so 0 0.1 V1 on both sides. So this is 0, so 0 0.2 V2 is equal to, uh, this is V1, think of as coefficient 1. So 1 minus 0 0.1 is 0 0.9, so 0 0.9 V1. And if you solve in terms of V1, for example, so V1 would be equal to uh, 0.2 by 0.9 V2. And if you simplify it, so that is uh, 9 of V2 is equal to V1. So this is this equation. And if I simplify this the other one, so subtract 0.8 V2. on both sides. So this would be 0 0.9 V1 equal to, so that think of coefficient 1, so 1 minus 0.8 is 0 0.22. And if solve in terms of V1, so it will be 0 0.2 by 0 0.9 V2 or 2 ninth of V2. And actually this is the same as uh, this equation already, right? So V1 is 2 ninth of V2, so V1 is 2 ninth of V2. Therefore, this is a redundant, okay, so we ignore it. So just keep this 
and the one we already have this one and just solve them so let me write it here uh, this is the one and then v plus v2 1 right so these two this and these two equations we have to solve so to solve this one so first i replace uh, this value of v1 right so because it's equal to v1 so i would replace it here so i would get to ninth of v2 plus v2 to 1 which would uh, sum up to like say 11 by 9 v2 is equal to 1 or uh, v2 equal to 9 by 11th and uh, which is in like say if, uh, in if we change it to decimal and round it to the nearest thousandth as per our requirement this problem so this is 0.818 and then uh, v1 would be equal to because the sum of v1 and v2 is 1 so v1 would be 1 minus v2 1 minus 0.818 so that is equal to 0.182 So my long term trend V, so that would be equal to, so V1, so that is 182, and V2 would be 0.818, and this is for science majors and that's for humanity majors. So approximately 18.2% would be humanity majors and like 81.8% uh, would be science majors in the long run.